Post-production is really where the film becomes the film. And I think that all starts with a great edit. I worked with Stuart to do the edit, who we've worked with, you know, we've worked together for many, many years. You don't even have to say much where he'll sort of go, I've got an idea, you know what I mean. And I'll go, yeah, I know what you mean. Being an editor is about combining technical knowledge, technical expertise with a creative vision. Sometimes having someone who just sat there in a room watching something away from the set, away from you know, crew, can bring a different sort of perspective to it. I love the editing process as well. I just like that you can kind of sit down quietly and take stock of everything you've got and start to reflect on the process a bit more. So it's quite a different process. I always like the idea of getting into an edit very, very soon after you shoot because you see things on set and you see things in the monitor and in an actor's eyes that's just like a little glint of, oh, that was a nice moment. And if you don't edit very quickly after, all that stuff just, you forget it all. There'd be quite a few of the dialogue scenes where I'd tend to go to the reverse shot to sort of alter the way the viewer's watching it and to say, hang on, there's something a little bit different here, focus on this aspect. Having the music there to edit to was a really great help where you can really get the feel of it as you're editing. So with the music, it's, it's all like quite a grand, big score, which I think go, you know, goes along with this idea of trying to create a big, big story, this big space epic story on a short film scale and budget. The one thing I really wanted to do with the score early on is to bring in this kind of solitary female voice. So we had Lily Fraser came in and, and did some amazing vocals on it. Um, and it just, yes, really kind of elevated the score to that kind of emotional level. One of the things I love about post-production is when there's a great, um, is sound design in the mix. We work with Jimmy who does all of our sound work. And he's just, again, he's got like another brilliant take on it. He's not been involved in shooting the film, but he's got that brilliant take of watching the, the finished cut and saying, okay, how can I bring my creativity and what I do in sound to enhance this and make it really pop? I'm here. I hope you're out there too. I think actually everyone that got involved with the film saw that the script was really ambitious. It had all these different characters and these big ideas and these big settings and spaceships and zero gravity and all of this stuff. And everyone came together to say, we're gonna make the best possible version of this that we can because we think it's a story worth telling. The acting, the music, the visuals of it is all, you know, incredible. And it's great to sort of have that. To be like, oh, we've done that. We've told this story. And I think that collaboration and that kind of the realisation of that ambition is the thing I'm most proud of.